Tonight's lesson is ratios of fractions and their unit rates. We'll be using our skills we worked on last night for multiplying and dividing fractions in order to be able to compute unit rates when fractions are involved. Let's take a look at the first example. Carly's, for Carly's birthday, her mother is making cupcakes for her 12 friends at her daycare. The recipe calls for three and a third cups of flour. This recipe makes two and a half dozen cupcakes. Carly's mother only has one cup of flour. Is there enough flour for each of her friends to get a cupcake? Explain and show your work. You free to pause the video, try it out, come on back. Okay, hopefully you pause the video. So we are looking at dozens of cupcakes per cups of flour. So we know we can make two and a half dozen cupcakes with three and a third cups of flour. However, Carly's mom only has one cup of flour. Will she be able to make enough cupcakes for Carly's 12 friends, which is actually a dozen friends. So she needs to be able to make a dozen cupcakes. So if we look here, three and a third, what do I divide by to rewrite this as a unit rate with a denominator of one. So I'll divide the denominator by three and a third. If I'm gonna divide the denominator by three and a third, I divide the numerator by three and a third. So the problem we need to solve is two and a half divided by three and a third. Two times two is four and one, that's five halves, divided by three times three is nine and one is 10 thirds. We're gonna skip it, we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna multiply. Straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Five times three is 15. Two times 10 is 20. You can either divide this out on your calculator, and if you do 15 divided by 20 on your calculator, that's 0.75 of a dozen. Another way for 0.75, that's like 75 cents, that's three quarters, so that's three quarters of a dozen. Well, the whole point is she needs for 12 friends, that's a full dozen. No, she does not have enough flour. She'll only be able to, to feed three-fourths of a dozen or nine of the friends. So that's too bad. So no, not enough. She'll only be able to feed nine of those friends. Which car can travel further on one gallon of gas? The blue car travels 18 and 2 fifths miles on 0.8 gallons of gas, and the red car travels 17 and 2 fifths miles on 0.75 gallons of gas. Pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, so we want to know who can travel further on one gallon of gas. Let's take a look at the blue car. The blue car can travel 18 and 2 fifths miles. So we'll do miles per gallon. And it's on 0.8 gallons. We could either convert this to a decimal, but I, I'm going to choose to convert this one to a fraction. 8 is in the tenths place. So 0 0.8 is 8 tenths. So 0.8 as a fraction is 8 tenths. I could also simplify this, dividing numerator and denominator by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 0 0.8 is actually the same as 4 fifths. So 18 and 2 fifths miles on 4 fifths of a gallon of gas. How many miles can that blue car travel on one gallon? Again, to write this as a unit rate, just divide the denominator by itself. If I'm gonna divide the denominator by 4 fifths to get to one, I'll also need to divide the numerator by 4 fifths. So we have 18 and 2 fifths divide it by four fifths, eight, and so we're gonna convert this to an improper, five times 18 is 90 plus two is 92 fifths, use your calculator if you need, divide it by four fifths, that's 92 fifths times five fourths. You could choose to multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, then divide, or I'm just going to say 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 5 once, and then I'll multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So this is 92 fourths. And what's 92 fourths? We take 92 divided by 4, and we get 23. So 23 miles per 1 gallon for that blue car. 
So that blue car can travel 23 miles in one gallon. Let's check for the red car. Again, we'll do miles per gallon. We know they can travel 17 and 2 fifths miles on 0.75 of a gallon. I always think of 0.75 as 75 cents. 75 cents is 3 quarters. So that's just a quick way to convert 0.75 to a fraction. So they can go 17 and 2 fifths miles on 3 quarters of a gallon of gas. How many miles can they go if they have 1 gallon of gas? So again, I look at my denominator. If I want to write this as a unit rate, I'm just going to divide the denominator by 3 quarters. If I'm going to divide the denominator by 3 quarters, of course, I have to divide the numerator by 3 quarters. And my problem I'm going to solve is 17 and 2 fifths divided by 3 quarters. 5 times 17 is 85 and 2 is 87 fifths times 4 thirds. Multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. 87 times 4. 87 times 4 on your calculator is 348 over 5 times 3 is 15. 348 divided by 15 is 23.2. So the red car can actually go 23.2 miles per 1 gallon on 1 gallon of gas. Therefore, if the red car can go 23.2, 23.2 is further than 23. Your red car wins. Your red car travels further. Final example for you to try out tonight. You have decided to remodel your bathroom and put tile on the floor. The bathroom is in the shape of a rectangle and the floor measures 14 feet 8 inches long by 5 feet 6 inches wide. The tile you want to use costs $5 each, and each tile covers 4 and 2 thirds square feet. If you have $100 to spend, do you have enough money to complete the project? I need for you to take a minute, try it out, pause the video, then come on back. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that the tiles are covering square feet. So when I look at my bathroom floor, I know I am going to want to know how many square feet are part of my bathroom floor. But the problem is I was given the length as 14 feet 8 inches. I want to convert that to simply feet. So I need to know 8 inches is how much of a foot. Well, let's take a look. 8 inches out of 12 inches. 8 out of 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. Divide numerator and denominator by 4 to write it in simplest form. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So I know 8 inches is 2 thirds of a foot. So 14 feet 8, eight inches is 14 and 2 thirds feet. So the length of this is actually 14 and 2 thirds feet. I also dealt with the width being 5 feet 6 inches. Now, hopefully for many of you, you already know 6 inches would be half a ruler, so half a foot. So this is actually 5 and a half feet. But if you're uncomfortable, you can always do 6 inches out of a total of 12 inches because there's 12 inches in a foot. Divide numerator and denominator by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. And that will show you why 6 out of 12 is 1 half. So 5 and a half feet is the width. I need to know how many square feet. That means I have to find my area. Area is length times width. So length is 14 and 2 thirds feet times 5, width is 5 and 1 half feet. In order to multiply these, we're going to want to write them as improper. 14 times 3 is, I think it's 42, yep, 42 and 2 more is 44. So this is 44 thirds feet times 2 times 5 is 10 and 1 is 11 halves feet. 44 times 11 is actually 484, 484. Th 3 times 2 is 6. Feet times feet is feet squared. That's why area is measured in square feet because feet times feet is feet squared. 
So 44 divided by 6, and I actually get this as a decimal. I get 80.6 repeating feet squared. I prefer to leave this in fraction or mixed number form because I see the next value I have to deal with is already a mixed number. So 0.6 repeating, some of you already know it's two-thirds, some of you might not. What you can do is you can do 80 times 6 because I because I saw here when I divided it out I had 80 point something. So I'm going to take my 6 times 80 80 times 6 is 480. So 80 times 6 is 480. I have to get to 484. So that's 80 and 4 6 left over feet squared. 4 6, if I divide numerator and denominator by 2, that would mean I had, was dealing with 80. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 80 and 2 thirds square feet. I know that one tile covers 4 and 2 thirds square feet. And my question is, how many tiles am I going to need if I need to cover 80 and 2 thirds square feet? And what you need to say is 4 and 2 thirds times what gives me 80 and 2 thirds? And my issue with that is it's not easy to figure out 4 and 2 thirds times what is 80 and 2 thirds, but you can always look at that as a division problem. You could start with your 80 and 2 thirds, and you could divide by your 4 and 2 thirds, and that'll tell you what to multiply the 4 and 2 thirds by. So 3 times 80 is 240 plus 2 is 242 over 3 divided by 4 times 3 is 12, 13, 14 thirds. That's the same as 242 over 3 times 3 over 14. You can multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. I'm going to simplify first. 3 goes into 3, 1. 3 goes into 3, 1. Then you can go ahead and multiply for yourself. So 242 times 1 is 242 over 1 times 14 is 14. And 242 divided by 14 is going to be a, a crazy decimal. It's going to be 17.28. 5714. So I'm going to say about 17.3 tiles we need. At the store, they're never going to sell you 17.3 tiles. They're going to make you buy 18 tiles. You just can't walk up and say, hey, I'd like to buy 17.3 tiles. You'll have to buy a total of 18 tiles. So if we take a look now, we've got a lot of work going on here. This page is filled up with work. Let me just try to divide it out to try to. And so if we have 18 tiles, each tile costs $5. So you just take how many tiles you have times $5 a piece. 18 times 5 is $90 this project will cost you. You have 100 to spend. So yes, you'll be able to finish the project. So do you have enough money? Yes. It's only going to cost you $90 and you actually have 100 to spend. That was quite a problem. How do you, these are your focus questions for tomorrow. How do you convert a rate to a unit rate? And how can you write a unit rate if at least one term is a fraction? How is this different from writing a unit rate where both terms are whole numbers? Try to have a good night.